welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. This is not only going to be my everyday routine, but also the products that I like to use on an everyday basis. So if you're interested in seeing my everyday makeup routine, then just keep on watching. To start, we are going to prep the skin, prime the skin with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Primer is so crucial and I love adding extra hydration and or glow to my skin occasionally very occasionally I will add a smoothing primer if I feel that I need it usually for me my focus with primer is to add hydration or glow because I have very very dry dehydrated skin and with that primer there you're not really going to be able to see a massive difference in my skin but I can definitely feel a ton of added moisture I really really enjoy this primer would definitely recommend very inexpensive we have the Koki skin HD foundation. This is my go-to from the drugstore. It's just lightweight. It looks beautiful on the skin. I always use a dampened sponge in my routine. It just makes the biggest difference for my dry skin, especially if I don't need a ton of coverage. Um, a dense brush is going to give you more coverage, whereas a dampened sponge is going to give you a little more natural coverage, but also put some more hydration into the skin while you're putting on the foundation. You see the difference that makes? It is really really incredible. It's a very lightweight foundation. I really don't hear many people talk about it. And now this is how the skin is looking with the foundation. Super nice. You can still see a tiny bit of my breakouts, which we are going to now conceal with my all-time favorite, favorite concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Super coverage. Cannot get enough of this stuff. It is such an amazing formula. I have not found anything similar to it in the drugstore, high-end, anything. Super, super coverage, but also very smoothing, which is like everything that I want in a foundation or in a concealer and this is in the shade cloud i'm kind of in between shades in this line this one's a little too light and then the next shade is a little too dark so i like to conceal my spots and then blend that in and set them and then after that i'll go in and conceal my under eyes okay now i'm going to go and conceal just a little bit on my eyelids just so that everything is like one color and I'm going to do a little bit under my eyes. And then we are going to bake that with another drugstore product, the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, just the original translucent formula, not like extra coverage. Bake right up against my under eye. Press that powder into the sides of my nose because that area always creases for me. I don't necessarily get oily at all, but I do get creases in the sides of my nose. So I like to press that in there. Now it is time for face powder and I usually use my MAC Studio Fix. That is like my favorite, favorite powder ever. NC15 MAC Studio Fix is my holy grail. I've repurchased honestly probably 10, but I'm almost out of it and I don't want to be like scraping at it for this video. So today I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Fair 01 Performance Wear Powder Foundation. I'm going to go in with this today just to set in my face. Not that I get oily, but I just like having powder down before I go in with any other powders and again I'm working so longevity blendability all that stuff the powder helps with that packing it in obviously this gives me more coverage as well because it is a powder foundation I'm gonna go in with benefit hula this is just the mini but you still get a decent amount and this is my go-to bronzer I've repurchased the full size twice I believe it works really really well for me it works well for my skin tone isn't too like orangey but isn't too cool toned either i don't like being super cool toned because i'm so pale doing the classic bronzer in the three motion so i'm going to bake a little bit under that bronze area with my cody airspun powder i don't always do this i don't always like to do it sometimes i like more sloppy bronze but today i just want it a little more clean and precise so we're doing it. Now that my chin area is baking, it is time to go in with highlight. I like doing bronzer and then highlight and then blush. I like to use blush to kind of blend everything together. So this is not the usual highlight brush I use. The one I use is over there and I don't want to get up to get it. So I'm going to use this one just as good. This is the Real Techniques setting brush, but I use it for highlight. And I pulled a high-end and a drugstore highlight because I really do honestly like them the same amount 
and they're very similar in tone. So I have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. You can see my love for that guy. I use this all the time. I always want to say on the daily, but I don't even wear makeup every day, so that would be a lie. But I use it all the time. And then also the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Far-sided one is super, super similar to that. So I'm going to go in with both. They pretty much do the same thing, but I wanted to show you guys two options because they are so, so similar. And I love how both of these highlights sit on my face. They really don't look glittery. They look natural. Natural in the way that they sit on the face and catch the light. I'm such a highlight person. I don't really care if people think I go a little over with highlight, especially my nose and Cupid's bow highlight. I've been told that my nose highlight is distracting or looks kind of stupid. For now, I still like it, so I don't really care. I might look back and agree with those people, but for now, I like it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Now, for the Fenty one, I'm just going to go in and like mix the two sides together. Uh, did that wow now it's time to go in with blush which is one of my favorite steps for sure highlight and blush I just like love both of them and how they make my face change and look so for blush I'm going in with a expensive YSL blush doesn't need to be this one but I just love the cool toned pink tone of this one and it is my favorite cool toned pink blush in my collection and that's my favorite type to wear so I just wanted to use it today you can use any blush some of my other favorite blushes are the Rimmel Kate Moss quad I used or duo trio there's three of them I use it in my last uh, Valentine's Day video I love essence blushes pretty much whatever you want to use I'm gonna take the tiniest amount on my nose because I like how that looks my brow pencil is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. Favorite recently, I've been really, really liking this. The Essence Make Me a Brow Eyebrow Gel. You guys know I love this stuff. And then the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set. With this one, I really just do hair-like strokes where I have a little more sparse in my brows and I just try to make them look a little more full and fluffy. So this is how the brows look filled in with just the Dope Taupe pencil or precision brow pencil. The shade is Dope Taupe and I'm just brushing the hairs up kind of giving them a little more color. This gives them a little more um, thickness, kind of. It makes it look like they're a little thicker. And now I'm going in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and brushing the hairs up again. Set them in the shape or like position that I have brushed them in. For eyes, I like to go in with one of three things for my everyday makeup look. The first option is to do nothing or to do just a black liner and mascara. Another option is to just take a little bit of bronzer, like the hula bronzer, into your crease. That's very popular and it just kind of adds a little something. And then the third most like glam option is to add a scattered lights hourglass type shadow onto the lid. You can use any variation most brands have their own variation of like a chrome or a cream or like a ColourPop Super Shock would work. Anything like that, but something super easy, one step, use your fingers or a brush, put it on the eyelids, and then add mascara and you're done. So that is what I'm going to do today. I've been loving the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Burnish. Putting that all over my lid. Wears really well throughout the day and it just catches the light in such a gorgeous, like shimmery way. I think this is perfect for people who want to look glam or like do a glam look, but don't want to mess around with the shadow and they don't really have the techniques to do like a lot of shadow or just can't be bothered, whatever it is. With a clean shadow brush, I'm just kind of diffusing the edges to make it look less like harsh and insane. Now I'm going to show you my favorite mascara duo to get like false looking natural lashes. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Primer and Mascara Duo. Very expensive. Honestly, I think it's worth it. I use these all the time when I don't want false lashes and I think this looks prettier with this look than false lashes to be honest. I just like the look of natural lashes with this kind of look. Just going in with the primer has kind of like a nude cream tone to it and then I put on the mascara right after so I don't really let it sit at all. I don't 
honestly know if that's correct or not but that's what I do and I don't put the primer on my bottom lashes I just do it on the tops then I'm going in with the Velvet Noir mascara this is like a super black formula this will give like slightly spidery lashes so if that's not your forte you might not enjoy this but I'm honestly kind of into it I kind of like a chunky lash especially with brows like this I just think it looks a little bit like editorial and cute I don't know I'm into it but if that's not your thing totally understandable I really don't have drugstore mascaras that can make my lashes look this good I've tried lash primers mascara primers from the drugstore and they just don't do anything for me so this is how the lashes look with the mascara I'm gonna leave that let it dry and then maybe I'll add a little bit more my favorite lip liner for work lately has been the Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner in 063 East End Snob. This is just like a classic lip liner. Such a good one. I know Jessica Braun talks about it all the time. I really like prepping with a lip liner. Just helps prolong the wear a little bit and makes the color a little more vibrant as well. So this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Formula and my favorite, favorite, favorite shade is in Swag. This is a matte formula but it is very creamy. It does dry down but it's very creamy and like movable and I do overline a little bit. I love this lipstick so much. It doesn't dry down and look like super dry and like lifeless on the lips. I know a lot of brands that do that and this one doesn't at all. It is so creamy and wearable and pretty but like it's still matte. Now I'm going to go in. I'm just going to use my Marc Jacobs one and be careful with it on the bottom lash line and try and not fully coat my lashes so that the bottom part won't touch my face. I'll just keep it like more tight. This is my everyday makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you aren't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know feedback and then what you liked about the video, what you learned, if you use any similar products, if you have any recommendations for me. I hope you guys all have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!